morning. This is a report from the US News and World Report, and they're covering not just Metro Detroit, but also Ann Arbor and Flint in their local list. And also just to give you an idea of the things being evaluated, they evaluate the top hospitals based upon their specialties and how those specialties rank na nationally. So essentially, if you're a patient that has a life threatening rare disease that not many hospitals treat, those are the types of hospitals being ranked in this list. And here are the top three in Metro Detroit. University of Michigan Hospitals, AK Michigan Medicine, is ranked number one in Metro Detroit by U.S. News and World Report. Michigan Medicine is nationally ranked in 13 adult specialties and 10 children's specialties, including cancer, cardiology, and psychiatry. U.S. News and World Report says Michigan Medicine is among the few sites in the country to perform a type of nerve transplant surgery that helps prevent blindness, among other rare procedures, and has been the site for many medical firsts. The number two ranked hospital is Beaumont Royal Oak, which is nationally ranked in 10 adult specialties, including cardiology and orthopedics. It's a teaching hospital with both a medical surgical ICU and a cardiac ICU. And rounding out our top three in the third spot is Beaumont Gross Point, which is nationally ranked in six adult specialties, including diabetes and urology. It also is a teaching hospital with a medical surgical ICU, but no cardiac ICU. In a press release, Beaumont Hospital System says they have more nationally ranked hospitals in Michigan than any other health system. Five Beaumont hospitals rank in the top 15. Henry Ford, St. Joseph, Ascension, all have locations ranking in the top 15 as well. Now, on the national ranking list, U.S. News & World Report evaluated 5,000 hospitals. The top three out of those 5,000 nationwide, number one, the Mayo Clinic, that's in Rochester, Minnesota, number two, Cleveland Clinic, and number three, Johns Hopkins, Johns Hopkins Hospital in Baltimore. Reporting live, I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News.